Hey, I've got a question for my fellow YouTubers out there. And I just want to know, do you ever feel like that those videos that you work really hard on, that you spend hours working on and crafting, and then maybe they were filmed at some beautiful, you know, spectacular location, and you just really put a lot of effort into them, and then you release them and they flop? and no one watches them. But yet, then you have other videos that are really quite bad, that maybe you didn't put a lot of, lot of effort into. And I'm talking videos where, you know, you, you just filmed it on your cell phone and the audio is terrible and it's shaky and bouncing around. And then you release it out there and it just, boom, it catches on fire and thousands of people watch it. Have you ever experienced that? Well, I have, trust me. And today I wanna talk about that a little bit, about how that's happened for us on our channel and maybe share some, some of our biggest mistakes that we feel like we've made on our channel. So if you're new here, if you don't know me, I'm Lee from Traveling Expats and Betty is behind the scenes. She actually does all the work. Um, so Betty's behind the scenes. She's a little shy. Maybe doesn't want to be on camera. But uh, yeah, and so we're a couple of, you know, I guess Gen Xers is our category. And we're retired. We like to travel. And we spend our time, part of it living in, living in Germany, and part of it living in the United States. And so we like to share our experiences as, I guess, expats, maybe immigrants, you might call it, um, travelers and early retirees. And we like to share our experience with other people and maybe help them travel and things like that. So, so that's what we're going to talk about. Now, real quick, if you like what you're hearing so far and you think this is interesting, please do me a favor. Could you hit that like button? Because that will really help our channel and it'll help this video get out to other people and it'll help us grow. And then, you know, we can make more videos like this to help you all out. All right, so, you know, let's talk about what we would do if we were starting our channel over today from, from scratch. All right, so, so let's go back in time a few years. And it's, it's the fall of 2021 and I had just retired from my first career and our kids were off at college. Betty and I were living in Germany and we had a lot of free time on our hands. And, you know, we like to travel, we like to go around and experience different things. And we thought, you know, maybe we should, uh, we should share some of our experiences with people. So, um, we did, you know, we didn't, we didn't know anything about uh, running a YouTube channel. Absolutely nothing. And I still don't know very much, to be quite honest with you. But uh, so we made a couple of recordings. We put some stuff together and, you know, the quality of it wasn't very good. Um, but we put a video out there and it didn't do anything. It didn't, you know, no one watched it and it, you know, didn't really surprise us too much. But uh, we're like, okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna continue on anyway, and uh, so we made a couple of couple of other videos, and you know, here comes some of that um, I guess inexperience to be to having a YouTube channel. So we had two videos, and we were trying to schedule them for release. You know, we didn't want to schedule them right at the same time, but lo and behold, that's exactly what we did. So we released both of these videos on exactly the same day. And, you know, we just, we put them out there and then we didn't even look at YouTube again for a couple of weeks, the same day. And, you know, we went on about our lives and we didn't even look at our YouTube channel for a couple of weeks, I think, because we really didn't, you know, we certainly didn't expect anything to really happen. Um, but then a couple of weeks later, you know, we, we opened up YouTube and lo and behold, one of those videos had tens of thousands of views had, you know, tons of comments, likes, 
and it really took off. So we thought, well, wow, if this video can be successful, then we better make more. So we went out and we put out like seven more videos over the next two months. And all of them, except one, all of them were really pretty successful. I, you know, I thought, and, um, you know, they all got thousands of views, lots of likes, lots of comments and things of that, things like that. So I thought, hey man, this YouTube stuff is all right. And now these were not good videos. And if you'd like to see what I'm talking about, we'll link one up here and you can see, you can see our most successful early video and you tell me what you think. Now this video is so bad. Uh, basically what it was, I was walking through the forest and the fields around my house in Germany with my dog and I was just basically talking about life in Germany and kind of comparing some things between life in Germany and life in the United States. Um, the video was terrible. It was very shaky. I held my cell phone the wrong way so we couldn't even use a lot of the video. So basically the video is a little over five minutes long and it's a lot of the same film just going over and over just being uh, replayed over and over again. But this video got so much interest. People were watching it and it went off like crazy. And then, so like I said, all the other videos we released, they were pretty successful too. Not as successful as that one, but they were, they were what I would consider, what I considered back then to be very successful. And then, you know, life goes on. So um, I started my short-lived second career. So I got busy, I was working again. And then the kids came home for Christmas, so we had the excitement of spending time uh, with our daughters who came home from, from university. They were in Germany, and we just got busy. And then after the holidays, uh, Betty went back to the United States to spend some time with our girls and, and with other family. And we just kind of forgot about being YouTubers. So our channel went completely dormant for two years. Nothing, nothing for two years. And then life goes on and two years later we're working we're both working and we kind of start crunching our finances and we realize we start to thinking you know we've uh you know I, I have a i have a pension coming in from my first career and we've managed our money wisely we've invested we've saved we've lived pretty frugally and we don't need to work you know so so why, why are we working? I mean, it, it's, you know, I had a good job, but it's not like I got tons of joy out of it, to be quite honest with you. So, um, yeah, both of us, we just, we resigned our positions and uh, we became full-time retirees. And then we thought, well, you know what? Now we've got plenty of time and let's go back to being YouTubers. So we've got experience. We've got more time. We can do this. We were successful before, so we'll be super successful now, right? Wrong. It didn't work that way. Um, and, and our videos were, are, in my opinion, so much better now than they were then. We learned something every time. We've got some more equipment. We've got some better equipment. And our videos are just better put together. You know, we, of course, we know what we're doing. But the response just, I mean, it hasn't been there. I mean, slowly it's been growing. And some of our videos do okay. Some of them are pretty successful. Uh, but a lot of them just, I mean, nothing. Maybe they sit there uh, for months and hardly anyone ever watches them. So why is that? Why is, is it that, that these good videos just, um, they don't get any views. No one watches them. No one comments them, comments on them. And, you know, you just seem like it was, it's kind of a little hurtful, you know, because you feel like you put so much time and effort into something and uh, no one else appreciates it. All right, so, so what happened? How did we lose the magic? You know, um, how come the videos in the second go around just, you know, weren't as successful as the videos in the, in the first go around? You know, we thought it was gonna be super easy, right? And so a couple theories. Number one, I've often wondered, um, you know, was YouTube, you know, really pushing our stuff out in the beginning? 
and then when we stopped and came back, YouTube said, well, we're not gonna help you anymore. So then they've, they stopped pushing our stuff out. So I've wondered that. I don't really think that's true. I don't think that's what happened. But, um, you know, there's a couple of things that, uh, that I do think have played a role. So, you know, when we first put our videos out, we, um, we had a pretty defined niche, right? So we were um, retired Americans living in Germany, traveling through Germany, sharing uh, the, um, the experience of being a, uh, a foreigner or an expat, uh, whatever you call it, living in Germany. We were sharing that experience and comparing, you know, culture shocks between living in America and living in Germany. And you know, I think people enjoyed that. I think people found that interesting. And, you know, not only Americans, but I think a lot of Germans found that interesting as well. And, you know, and we were traveling a lot, mostly in Germany to, you know, small villages, going to uh, Christmas markets and things like that. And I think people really enjoyed that as well. So. When we came back um, and, and put our, and put our um, videos out the second time around, we were no longer living full-time in Germany. Uh, we were you know, part-time in Germany and then other parts of Europe and back in the United States. And so I think we just kind of lost our defined niche, if you will. And so you know, the YouTube algorithm, which I don't understand 100% for sure, I think it really didn't know who to push our videos to, right? Do you, you know, is it supposed to push our videos to, uh, to uh, Americans living in other countries? Is it supposed to push it out to people who want to go to travel to places? I think there's just a lot of confusion. So I think we've kind of struggled to build our niche back. And I think that's why we've struggled to get views. Um, and so then we kind of had a second break as well. This one wasn't as long, but uh, we had about a two month break last year and because we were moving back and forth, we spent time in Germany, came back to the United States, went back to Germany. And so we had about a two month break. So I think that also didn't help us at all. So, you know, I guess my number one tip to you is to be consistent, right? When you start your channel and hey, I'd say no matter how old you are, if you got a story to tell, you know, tell it, start your channel, but just be consistent at it, you know, stay after it. Um, you know, every week, at least once a week, try to release a video. And even if you think it's maybe not so great, even if you're, uh, you know, you, you want to work on it longer or whatever the case may be, but at least put it out, put something out there and try to stay consistent with time and also with your messaging. You know, um, don't, you know, I guess don't talk one week about, you know, baking the best chocolate chip cookies and the next week you're going to talk about um, buying a new car. I mean, obviously that is very inconsistent. So try to stay on the same theme and also consistent with time. All right. So to kind of wrap this up, lessons learned, what have we learned? And I think our three big takeaways are um, once you start your, your channel, you know, don't stop. Right, so, so just keep going and, and don't stop. Okay, so our three takeaways, the three lessons learned that I wanna share with you right now um, as we start to wrap this up. Number one, cons consistency. When you start your channel, keep putting videos out. Don't stop, don't take breaks. Uh, just keep, keep putting them out, you know, on your schedule. You know, I think every week works well, but whatever you have set up, continue to do that. It needs to be pretty regular. I mean, I think if you put a, if you put a video out every two months, that's probably not going to get you very far, but I would say try to do it every week, put a video out. Number two, find your niche. Um, know what you want to talk to people about and kind of stick to that and don't stray off of it too much, you know? So, um, and whatever that is, and that helps, like I said earlier, that helps the YouTube algorithm know who to push your videos to, right? So you got to have some sort of a niche, some sort of a topic um, that uh, you know that's of, that's of interest of a certain group of people who who will receive your videos. And number three, don't focus on perfection, right? Don't worry about every video being perfect because you know they're not going to be perfect. And like I said, you know most of our 
our most imperfect videos oftentimes are our most successful videos. Um, yeah, we, we put a, a video out about, I don't know, about five months ago. And honestly, we didn't think it was good at all, you know, and we weren't even going to put it out. But someone really asked, hey, can you put this video out? So we did. And it's been one of our most successful videos the second time since we came back to, make, to making YouTube. So don't worry about perfection, right? Consistency, find your niche, and don't worry about perfection, right? So those three things, keep those with you when you start your channel and you stay, stay true to those, and I think you will have success. Now, as we wrap this up, if you've liked this video, you know, like I said, please hit that like button. Um, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. What are your experiences with your YouTube channel? Or are you thinking about starting a YouTube channel? And do you have more questions you can ask us? And, you know, I am not the sharpest tool in the box, but uh, I will share with you any knowledge I have. Right. And number three, subscribe to our channel. So, um, you know, and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we have new videos coming out. You know, and again, you know, we're going to talk about um, traveling. We're going to talk about living the, uh, the expat slash foreigner experience in Germany, going through culture shock in Germany. So we're going to have some more videos coming out. And, uh, you know, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching me. And if you want to see our most successful video that is not very good, we're going to put that up here so you can click on that and watch that video. And then let us know what you think about that. Like, hey, Lee, you're right. That video sucked. It was terrible. Why on earth would anyone watch that? Or maybe say, you know, that was, um, it was honest. It was from the heart what you were saying. And I can understand why people would like it. So just let us know what you think. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. And uh, check in next week and see what we have in store for you.